I'm Anson. Yudo, I made you some lunch. Me too. Thanks, you two. <laughs> I was a really good looking guy, and I wasn't shy to hide it. I'm Yutsu Kamada. I'm a junior in college. I was good looking, smart, and good at sports. The girls were all over me. Life was easy. I always got whatever I wanted. But. I did have one problem my useless father. Dad, stop smoking while you go to sleep. Huh? No, oh, you're back, you two. He was a drunk. He didn't even have a job. He was a bum. Sometimes he left the house and didn't come back for weeks. I hated him. I looked down on him. I was embarrassed that I was related to him. I hear you're good with girls. You probably get that from me. I dealt that. I get my good looks from my mom. What? Mom passed away when I was a kid, so I didn't remember much about her. So, for the most part, it was just me and my dad. Then one day, that's her again. She's obsessed with you. You're such a ladies' man. She's kind of weird. Hey! Oh, uh... Stop doing this! Huh? The way you're always staring at me, it's creepy. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry. Come on, let's go. That was cold. Forget her. Let's go. But then that night... Ah! My house caught on fire. When I woke up, the fire was everywhere. My dad always forgot to put out his smokes when he went to bed, so it was probably his fault. Hot! Ah, help! I tried to run, but it was too late. I got rescued by the fire squad a few minutes later, but... I was unconscious when they carried me out. They rushed me to the ER to treat my burns. I woke up in the hospital bed. Where am I? Oh, right, the fire. Uh, I could barely move. I felt like crap. What the? Then I saw myself in the mirror. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What the hell? No! Is that me? No, uh, this can't be happening! My beautiful face was gone. I looked horrible. <laughs> like a zombie. You lost 80% of your skin in the fire. It's a miracle that you made it out alive. You got lucky. I was unconscious for about two weeks. The doctor said I came close to dying several times, but... Somehow I made it out alive. I still have my life, but life wasn't going to be the same. It was a nightmare. I was in terrible pain. Day and night, I was in constant pain. Every part of my body hurt. And since my eyelids were burned off, I couldn't even close my eyes. It was a living hell. Then one day... What the... Wow! My classmates came to see me. But when they saw my face, they froze up. Guys, thanks for coming. <laughs> sure, we brought you some fruits. Well, we better go. Yeah, later. Wait. Then they ran off. Did you see that? Is that really you, Tall? No surprises there. I looked nothing like my old self, so... How am I supposed to get a job looking like this? I'll never get married or have kids. 
my life was over. I had my whole life ahead of me, but now it was all gone. What do I do now? Then six months later, I was able to go back to school. I did my best to cover up my face, but everyone avoided me. Can't say that I blame them, though. Even the teachers ignored me. Life wasn't going to be the same anymore. And my dad, who caused a fire in the first place, he didn't even get a scratch. I couldn't believe it. He managed to get out of the house in time, and he didn't even try to help me. Why me? I was angry. I wanted vengeance. So the next day, I snuck into the school science lab and stole a bottle of acid. I remember using this in class a few months ago. This is it. I had to get revenge on my father. My useless father ruined my life. I'm going to turn you into a zombie now. It was the only way to make this right. So, while he was asleep, I... The next morning... <sighs> Dad, I'm heading out. Uh, okay. I couldn't do it. I just I couldn't do it. So I decided to leave home. I couldn't stay here anymore. I wanted to go somewhere far away where nobody knew me. Two years later. What the? Ah! Two years went by. I tried to get a job, but nobody was hiring me. I lived off of scraps, eating leftover food from the garbage at night. It was miserable. But then, something happened. Hey, you! Huh? This guy came up to me. His name was Juichiro Asakiri. He was a famous surgeon. He heard about my accident, and apparently he was looking for me. We're working on this new treatment, and uh, I'd like you to participate in our trial. Really? He offered to perform a skin transplant on me. Needless to say, I jumped at the opportunity. It took me a whole year to prepare for this. Uh, what are you going to do exactly? We got this donor who passed away in an accident. We're going to try and reconstruct your face, scalp, ears, cheeks, nose, and some bones as well. It was an unprecedented case. The treatment was really expensive. In total, it was going to cost about $1.2 million. But since this was a trial, I didn't have to pay a dime. I couldn't believe it. Oh, thank you so much for this. Oh, don't thank me just yet. Thank the donor once the operation is over. A few days later, over 60 surgeons worked together and performed the operation on me. It took him 26 hours in total. They took the skin from the donor and reconstructed different parts of my face one by one. It was very time consuming. The operation was a success. They reconstructed almost everything, including some bones and muscle. I even got my eyelids back. The operation was a success. You're good to go. But uh, we couldn't reconstruct everything. Your face is going to look different. Okay, fine by me. I didn't even care. Okay, then. Let's take off the bandages. And the doctor started unwrapping the bandages. What the? Dad? I looked in the mirror and saw my father staring back at me. What the? Why? The Dota. Uh, it was your father. My father died in an accident. I couldn't believe it. You two are related, so that made things a bit easier. What? 
this can't be. So now I look like the person I hated the most. Well, I thought you'd be happy to get your face back. Six months later, I was finally allowed to go home. I hated looking like my father, but I was able to live a normal life again. I could blink again, which mean I could sleep like a normal person. I hated looking like my dad, but I decided it was time for me to move on. Welcome. After that, I got a job, but then one day... Oh, come on, a song is on you. Huh? This guy started talking to me. Long time no see, where have you been? I was worried about you. What? I, uh... Looks like he was one of my dad's friends. You find a donor for your son yet? What? You're a great father, you know that? All those things you're doing for your son, I admire that. Now what is he talking about? Lung in there, okay? I'll let me know if you need any help with anything. Lighten! Then he left the store before I could say anything. A few days later. Looks like your father was working on this ship for a while. A ship? I hired a private detective to look into my father. I wanted to know what really happened. It was one of those uh, crab fishing boats. He spent most of his time on the ocean. I see. So that's why he was never home. And another thing. The fire, it wasn't caused by your father. What? I already reported this to the police. Uh, she's already in custody. What? It was her? It was that girl that was always following me around. If I can't have him, then nobody can. Turns out, my dad had nothing to do with the fire. Her motive? She liked me, but I didn't like her back. Simple as that. Oh no, so this was my fault? After that, he worked tirelessly to find a donor for you. He started working double shifts on the ship to make more money to pay for your surgery. But then, he was in an accident. Oh no. It wasn't his fault. I had no idea he did all this for me. He wasn't useless at all. He cared deeply about me. Dad, I had no idea. He did all this for me. After I got home, I thanked my dad over and over again. Thanks, Dad. Thank you for everything. I'm sorry. My dad looked back at me with a warm smile. Thanks for watching everyone. Come back again for more and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.